Okay, I somehow lost that last one, so let's just do this one. So 292 is sample size. Yeah, they switched problems on me. Confidence level 0.95. Sample proportion is 0.36, okay? So this, if you, again, you need to uh, take your answers for your margin of error, lower and upper, to four decimal places, and then convert them to percentage, which will give you a percentage to two decimal places, right? But the, the bigger issue is that now, if you go back and do a problem where it gives you a number of yes over samples, like this one, watch what happens. Because I put in manually 0.36 for this one, 83 over 150. See, it still says 0.36 because I altered it. So you could either do one of two things. One, just do 83 over 150 and put it on your calculator and put it in here. I would go to several places out, though. Okay. Two, uh, learn how to just do something real simple. This is, uh, the, first of all, delete that. Okay. Equals, anytime you want to do a calculation, you hit equals. Whatever you want, divided by whatever you want. Then hit this cell here, slash, hit that cell there. That tells you, that tells you, I want to go in and take whatever's in C4 and divide it by whatever's in C5, okay? Uh, or just go X out of this and then go back into the course and grab a fresh spreadsheet. you got plenty of options, but you have to know these things, that that is what sample proportion is, number of yes divided by sample size. If they give it to you, if you put that in there, see, that says equals C4 divided by C5. So if I keep the same spreadsheet and I change these around, okay, and I change this around, Okay, whatever. I mean, it's going to always take this divided by this, always, because that's what it's telling it to do. Take C4 divided by C5. I'll put this back in here, 83 divided by 150. Okay, that's what it does. If you manually put in a number you, and you over that, you've destroyed it. So you need to either go back and put in equals C4 over C5, or you need to just go back in and grab a fresh, uh, fresh spreadsheet, okay? So, you know, in this one, they gave you uh, sample size 170, confidence level 0.995. And since they gave you the sample proportion, that's what you have to put in there. 0.43 has to go in here. Okay. 0.323, 0 0.537. All right. See, now if I had just done that last problem, okay, now I have to uh, do one of two things. I have to go back in and grab another spreadsheet because this sample proportion is no, um, if actually, I was testing something out. If I did a, a problem from before where this is wiped out, then I do number of successes, 69, sample size 150, confidence level 0.99, and then I'd put equals this divided by this for my sample proportion, okay? Or just if you have feeling comfortable doing that, just go back in, X out of here, go back into the course, grab a fresh spreadsheet, okay? And you can see the answers are here. Okay, the big the X, which means number of X's or number of yeses. In this case, that's what that means. I don't know why they gave you an X. N is the sample size, 520, okay? And there's your answers, okay? All right, that's what that X and N means. And um, you would put, let's see, 0.755 there and 0.845 there, okay? All right, all they're interested in is the female students. Of those female students, how many got A's, okay? So the number of yeses or the number of A's is 2, right? Sample size 27, confidence level 0.90, and oh, uh, N over A's, ten, 10 students got an A, not two, those are B's. So basically all you're looking for is the female students that got A's. So 10 students got A's out of 27 females. And there's your sample proportion and your margin of error. So your lower is 0 
and your upper is 0.523. So they took your sample proportion, added the margin of error to get this, took the sample proportion, subtracted the margin of error to get that. To get that. Okay, uh, all they're interested in is male students, and of those male students who got Bs, so there are uh, 11 males that got Bs out of 34 total, so 11 goes here, 34 here, and your uh, confidence interval is here's your lower, here's your upper for this answer and this answer. Your point estimate, point estimate is basically your sample proportion. That's what point estimate is, same thing, is right here, 0.324, and your margin of error is 0.187, okay? All they're saying here is here's your sample proportion or point estimate. There's your margin of error. So you take 0.619, add your margin of error to get that one. Take your 0.619, subtract your margin of error to get, well, to get that one. Here's your answer. It's not there. That's an example. Okay. Take 0.619, add and subtract 0.071 to get your other two answers. Okay. Okay. Well, this P with the little hat, I guess, is a, is a point estimate. Okay. That's one I probably should have put in the uh, in that little chart I did maybe last video. Okay. That's like the sample proportion. Okay. P is the same thing as a point estimate or the sample proportion. Okay, sample proportion, all right. So what it's saying is 60.5 is here. I'll just ignore the percentages. 68.9 is here. All right, remember what I told you before. Now they're looking for what is the sample proportion or the point estimate, okay, which is that plus or minus what is that margin of error. Remember I told you that this is double the margin of error. So if I take that difference and divide by 2, I'll get my margin of error. So 60.89 minus 60.5. So 60.89 minus 60.5. Oops. 68. Oh. Just dumb mistakes I'm making now, just getting tired. I'm trying to get all these videos done for you guys. Okay, so if I take 68.9 minus 60.5, I get 8.4. And if I divide that 8.4 by 2, I get 4.2. So there's my margin of error, right? Now all I do is take that margin of error and either add it to 60.5 or subtract it from 68.9 to get my sample proportion right here, okay, which would be 64.7, okay? All right, so remember, this is the confidence interval. The confidence interval is double the margin of error. So I'm looking for that point estimate right in the middle. Probably the easiest thing, there's many ways you can go about doing this problem. I like to just find the margin of error first, which is the difference, and then divide that by two, and then add it to the lower number. All right, so it ended up being 64.7 plus 4.2 to get here, 64.7 minus 4.2 to get here is your answer. And then this one, they gave you the point estimate, or the, the, the sample proportion, and the margin of error. So you just take your sample proportion, add your margin of error to get that, take your sample proportion, subtract your margin of error to get that. And that's also referred to as the point estimate, I guess. Okay, looks like 225 out of 300 as kids. So the first thing they want is in the confidence interval form. So you put your 225 there, your 300 there, your confidence level here. That calculates C4 divided by C5, if you still have it in there. If not, put that in there to get 0.75 for your sample proportion. Okay. So if I take 0.75 and add my margin of error that's calculated, I get 0.709 for my upper. Okay. Or, no, I mean, subtract, uh, take, uh, let me do that again, 0.75 minus the margin of error for my lower, 0.709. The sample proportion calculated is 0.75. Add the margin of error, I get the upper. So in this, um, as, so this is saying, okay, I'm going to take my sample proportion or point estimate, whatever you want to call it, which is 0.75, and I'm going to add and subtract plus or minus 0 0.041 is my margin of error. Okay, so. Okay, for, for all these, 
here, you're going to get a few questions, I believe, that have this as your first question. It's always the confidence interval for a population proportion, okay? And then uh, you go ahead and put in your 179 here, your, oops, 179 here, 251 here, 0.98 here. It calculates your sample proportion to be that. And your confidence interval, they want it as a parenthesis, 0 0.647, 0 0.78. Okay, when you run out to three places, you get 0 0.78. And then they want the same thing. It's just, I don't know why, they just ask you to, two ways to answer the same question, 0 0.647, 0 0.78 again. And then they want you to do it with your sample proportion, which was calculated to be 0 0.713, plus or minus your margin of error to be 0 0.066. So... These two numbers came about by taking your sample proportion, 0.713, subtract your margin of error, 0.066, to get 0.647, your 0.713, and add your margin of error to get the upper number, 0.78.